You're listening to The Lobbyist, an original comedy podcast created and produced by Alex Jones. In this episode, we talk about Annoying Habits. It was performed by Alex Jones, Mary Quirk, Sarah Polly, and Chris Lawrence. Copyright The Lobbyists, 2016. All rights reserved. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about annoying habits. I mean, this topic should be comedy gold. Annoying habits. It's one of the biggest things in the world for comedy, Mm. isn't it? Let's face it. Picking your nose in public. That's annoying and disgusting. Spitting on the pavement, you know, when you're walking up the road, things like Mm. that. Or footballers spitting on on Mm. football grounds, things like that. That's a bit annoying. But I just want to start off this. I'm looking at doing some research on the internet. And I won't say who this is or where it is because it's a bit unfair. But this person on a website that kind of deals with this kind of stuff she's put 20 things that really annoy her and i'll try and skip read through them so cursing not showering for days bad breath <coughs> horrible fighting other people for no serious reason being arrogant visiting someone without calling first yeah. going to someone's house without bringing anything to, this to me sounds mm. like she's had a boyfriend mm. who, <laughs> who just I mean, boyfriend. you wouldn't invite to a dinner party would you yeah she sounds yeah. quite neurotic so yeah she's yelling for no reason picking her nose in public I love cheating yelling for no reason well. eating as much as they can and then crying about being fat it sounds oh, no, like a me. partner doesn't it really yeah. stealing drinking as much as your body can handle smoking in large capitals with an exclamation mark after oh, it God, she's skinny bold. girls want whining about being too fat fat that girls wearing right. tight clothing she love me wouldn't she laziness <laughs> and procrastination I think I well, don't know about you it's the whole show really uh, it's the whole shebang but I also think maybe she's a bit bitter she's had some friends who got really skinny she's missed a few she's key someone. ones as well eating with your mouth open yeah eating with your mouth open yeah. and sniffing sniffing yeah I've got a colleague who sits opposite me mm. now he's been constantly sniffing throughout the whole day now I thought I assumed they probably said a cold but he's been working with us now for quite a few months and people don't have colds going on for a few months so that's I'm wondering what the hell's wrong with his nose that's a yeah. really habit. getting to Sarah that's really habit. annoying yeah, yeah. That's what he doesn't is. look like a Charlie Chalk fan though so I'm not sure if it's coke habit but really? <laughs> I don't know what the hell's wrong with his nose but um, a Charlie Chalk fan I love that he, he's, he's a slurper as so well he slurps oh. food and drink as oh. well yeah. and he does like massive belches like it's nothing yeah belching out loud in public is yeah. not a good thing but yeah I mean Sorry. breathing li- loudly <laughs> down the phone that's quite annoying I wouldn't say it's an annoying habit. When did you though. do that last, Alex? <laughs> well, didn't you hear me last time I found you? I mean, oh, was it you? Oh. Uh, yeah. Just going back to the eating, I think, yeah, again, it's it's not someone I work with, obviously. <laughs> eating an apple, they start, and then you think, surely this is going to be over soon. But it goes on, and there's the slurping, on and, on and, on. and the sucking, and I've, I've never heard anything like it. And then just when you think it's over, just when you stare, and right. you look up from your computer screen, and you stare at them to think, why? How? where is this noise coming from? You just realise that they haven't finished the call. The call's still got to go. Oh, no. There's some pips, and you're thinking, just choke on them. Just choke and die now. Just because choke I can't and take die. the call. <laughs> the, the other one is, and again, it's not someone I work with, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Eating a kiwi fruit. Okay, I could eat, I could eat ten kiwi fruits. You right. wouldn't even know I was in the room. Again, I look up and like a ninja. There's, there's, yeah, That's ninja special. kiwi. <laughs> Specialist ninja. There's the slurping, and I mean, you know, kiwis are really small. The fruits. Yeah. They're really quite small, aren't they? And I'm just thinking, the slurping going on. How right. can you slurp? Well, maybe they're slurping. The juice out. Kiwi. I mean, I you, you, that's you why you keep staring at him, don't you? You cut it in half yeah. and you eat it with a spoon. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe he's got a microphone in his mouth and he just does it to annoy me. Yeah, um, maybe maybe you just put a speaker out on your desk. One person that I know that you don't work with, don't work with, have yeah. no idea who she is. Someone but told you about yeah, her. Yeah, someone told me about her. She yeah. potentially yeah. eats almonds, like and you know, little snacky mm. food, not they're problem. No, as she eats them, she just goes. Oh and god, god. That's that's so annoying. Like, I'm cross already. That's She's like, not even here. That's like Cookie Monster. It's like you do it again, Chris. What is it? <laughs> it's like. It's like she's like going yum 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 with cookie monsters. She likes them. And they're good for her. <laughs> and then set someone else off, uh, off eating whatever he's eating, Haribo, and he's doing the same. And I'm like, Haribos are, are pretty silent. Haribo, yeah. No, Haribo. I don't know. Like, I don't know. You could make a lot of noise at it, I'm sure. Uh, the only time I make a noise when I'm eating sweets is if I get those 
chewy fangs and I put them um, <laughs> under my top lip. To you can't get them down. Pie, and I go, rah! <laughs> the only time I make a noise with them. Yeah, that's Which really is noisy. the best time to make a noise. That would, does not bother me. Yeah, I'd let that go, even yeah. at work. I'd let that go. Yeah. Mm. I think I think chewing gum is one of the mm. more annoying things. Especially, especially when someone... Especially if they're shop assistants. With your mouth yeah. closed. Yeah, well, you expect service, don't you, yeah. from a shop assistant? I've got I don't a list like here. Actually, I don't like it when you see people chewing gum in inappropriate situations. Yeah, during sex. Yeah, I remember... Actually, that is one, because I remember when I saw... Um, <laughs> I saw a porn film one time, and the woman in it, she was chewing gum while she was doing what she was doing, and I thought, that's a choking she hazard, almonds. surely. That's a choking yeah. hazard, yeah. Maybe that's you should get hazard. health and safety on that. Yeah, well, that's yeah. not right, is it? And she, potentially, that could be really, She's supposed really to look like she's enjoying herself. Yeah. I'm, I'm just... I'm sorry, I was I'm just... I'm processing this right guys, now. Sarah, I, I, yeah. just, you've, you've made w- them go all funny now. Yeah, I was thinking, where's she chewing the gum? But that's a whole different... I'm lowering the tone. But it is Friday, come on. Annoying office habits, as Mary brought it up. Awful coffee breath. Mm. Constantly chewing crunchy things at your desk. And, and the mouth open. Oh. Ne- never accepting help, even when it's obvious you need it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fine. Um, interrupting. No, no, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. No, no, I know this Windows. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. I don't. Know. Fine. I don't need your help. In- <laughs> yeah, interrupting no. conversations. Well, I'm kind of doing. You're all getting and annoyed me. at me. Yep. You oh. talk to yourself all day long. You talk about things that are way too personal. I love those people. I love oversharers. Yeah, they, they are comedy gold, aren't they? Because I'm a bit of an oversharer, slightly, so those people make me feel better about my mm. oversharing. I mean, just like Sarah admitting she likes watching porn. I mean, I'm, yeah. sh- I'm in shock. Chewing gum porn. This is was a one-off incident, porn, yeah. I, should, I should point out. We've got snuff movies. This is, the, this is a gum movie. I think we sneeze through those snuff movies. <laughs> Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> Sneezing. I don't Leaving your phone no. notifications on. Oh, I had someone yeah. in the train doing that today on the way leave out. leave their doing keyboard what? noise Going on bing. their phone as well, so then you can hear it when they're oh. texting. I, I think, I mean, that's a modern phenomenon, isn't it, text? I mean, even though I requested predictive text on my phone, it is the most annoying thing. Have you, you know? had overly predictive texts where it tells you what you're going to do later? <laughs> you start typing it's and it goes, text, don't Chris, buy yeah. a lottery ticket. Oh, Christ. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't use predictive texts. I mean, predictive texts to a dyslexic is, you know, is, is, pr- is pretty bad. It's pretty I hope pointless. it's supposed to be good for us, but I don't see how I just see all these, these letters flashing up and making words that I was going to put anyway. And, you know, it's just it's too weird. I don't, I don't do predictive texts. I've worked in a call centre and when you get someone who's a woman a but woman. she sounds like a man Ooh. on the phone and you go hello sir <laughs> <laughs> hello <laughs> and it's like what? I'm a woman oh, oh sorry yeah, madam that's, that's didn't mean you know, that's awkward really time. orcs is it that's orcs mm. real orcs no that that is a pet hate just uh, people who should know who are old enough should know better to start shortening words mm. like that's that's totes no it's totes. <laughs> totes amazing no it's Dude. totally amazing if you're going to <laughs> Use the words. We're an ad- we're adults now. We yeah, use the yeah. Ad- like when you're learning the language, okay, nuts to it. You can you can start shortening it. That is actually something that comes up quite a lot on the on the internet these days. Is where people introduce words that they use on text in proper emails and also conversations. So when they go LOL, for example, or LMAO, like everyone's meant to know it means it laugh my ass off. Yeah, I've mean, only found that out recently. LOL, I used to think meant. Lots, lots of, of love. love yeah it's actually lo- laugh, out laugh out loud mm. you know they there's been know loads of, of incidents where people have used that inappropriately so when people have text family members your, your, your uncle died lol <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's not a good time to do it is it really mm-hmm. you shouldn't really be laughing but yeah very funny <laughs> for me really annoying things are like my computer crashing oh I can't stand it and pop-ups on websites. You've just got but that porn t- up and it just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, 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 well, it's there's never that, up long enough, is it? There's that, web, there's that web camera. Oh, God, fuck off, you know. <laughs> oh, I recognise you. Oh, yeah. uh, but no, there's... I'll a, stay um, a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's some... Like, for me, it's uh, you going to a legitimate website and a non-porn mm. one. I was on so, uh, something today and, and it was on Facebook and it was, you know, some spurious yeah. claim. Is that you know, t- that, that, tall bastards are us? That, yeah, that tall people are better in bed, you know, this kind of thing. And I went oh, straight to it. <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, and then literally the second I opened up the, you know, the piece, it popped up with this cookies policy. And I'm thinking, oh, you got to I read do that? know what I a know. fucking cookie is, thanks. <laughs> I do understand you Makes have cookies. Makes it really policy. angry, doesn't Everyone it? Everyone has cookies these no, days no, on no, every no. single <laughs> website. <laughs> then you, know then you start thinking cookies. about cookies. And then, then you, you think about yeah, cookies. You go and get I'm on a diet. You're ruining it. Thanks very much, you 
fuck. Yeah. Right, I'm getting a bit of, you know. And half the day's gone, isn't it? Half the day's gone. Yeah. Like, well, if you've gone off in a rant. On your own. And yet, <laughs> when you own. get the um, <laughs> Apple new policy thing come up, it doesn't make you crave apples, does it? No. No, never. No. Ever, never. Ever, ever, no. ever. The other one is Windows 10. Please update to Windows 10. That really annoys me. I keep I, getting that up as well. I really don't want Windows 10 on my computer. I installed it on my on my home PC and it just started trying to ruin it. And I uninstalled it and now it kind of won't stop reminding me that mm. I ought to update They just it. won't let it lie, will they? You let it lie, Bill Gates. You're a billionaire. Yeah. Do you ne- how much more money do you need? Yeah. You f- Come you don't on. need reminding. Don't need reminding that mm. you're a billionaire. Mm. Come on. You know a way to stop that. What? An apple. <laughs> Get an apple, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and eat and then it right I, then to I the want core to eat apple all day long. All the right. out of it. Seeing Sarah sitting there rather nonchalantly looking at her mobile phone, that that's one of the things that really annoys people when they're uh, out, mm. out and about. I mean, the thing that really annoys me is when I see young mothers <laughs> with a baby pushing a pram down the road, one hand, oh. and on the other hand, on their mobile phone, but yeah. presumably on Facebook, mm. when they should really be looking off the interest of the child. Yeah, I, they're I'm running assuming. into the road. I mean, it could just be nannies, I don't know. It could mm. be. It, I haven't seen many men doing it. Maybe well, I have seen the old man do it, but, you know, predominantly women, mm. young women. And also stopping mid conversation to do a text. Have you seen the mothers that put their pram in the road uh, while they're waiting to cross? So they're yeah. on the pavement and just over the curb because they think, oh, there's a curb, I'll, I'll put the pram in the curb. Because yeah, that'll oh, yeah. stop all the cars. Yeah, no, but so they're safe on the pavement going, oh, I'll just wait for these cars. Yeah. Meanwhile, the pram or the yeah, buggy the is on, uh, it's on the road. Is this annoying? See, I, I've, I've inherited this along with his nose, but he doesn't need it anymore, so that's fine. But my dad got this thing about things that squeaked. He actually carried around a tin of WD-40 in his jacket no. pocket. Oh, genius. Just in case he came across a squeak. I, I'd love See, that. See, I've, I've, in, love I've that inherited man. this. I mean, so there was an elderly neighbour who had a shopping trolley that she used to wheel down the road that my dad clocked. And that those little wheels used to squeak as well. So one day he followed her. Right. She went when she went into the news agents to get her paper. He WD forty the wheels. Ooh, she didn't wow. know anything about With that it. Ninja style. And then she, yeah, ninja, ninja WD forty man. Yeah. So I was thinking as a, a sketch idea that we had you know the WD forty man who's you know, a bit older man who's got maybe some like you know underpants over his trousers. Yeah. yeah. And you know he's just walking down the road and there might be a window open in someone's house and he can hear that squeak. And he can't. He just can't go past the house. He's got to break in. Right. And he's got to spray the doors or. Wicked. You know. <laughs> Is that annoying? So I, I mean, we've got two men here and two women. What are the most annoying things that men do? <sighs> Breathing in an oh, annoying way. She beat way. me to it again. Or snoring. Snoring. The one that I think when you say it, you are groan. You go, oh yes. Leaving the toilet seat up. See, I, I, I don't, don't know. Do I don't know why that I'm doesn't trained. that doesn't bother me. But yeah, out of toilet paper. Especially when you've had diarrhoea or something like that. It's nothing worse, is it? Really out? bad running that's, out of toilet paper. That's why paper. In, in, in the bathroom I always keep a multi pack of toilet roll. Right. So if mm. one runs out, you've, you, haven't, you haven't got to leave the room to go get another one. Yeah, once the multi pack comes to the end. I wish I had a bathroom that big. Have you never done the waddle of shame to get a new roll? I've never had to because I'm super organised. I always have the multi pack inside the bathroom. I've done the waddle of shame before when people have phoned me and I'm on the toilet. I must admit, I've done that a few times. Or the I postman the rings at the What's rings the, the doorbell. That's he always rings twice, though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Shake well, not in my place, no. But <laughs> maybe in one of those films that Sarah's been watching. Yeah, get him a chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> I have an issue with the toilet lid situation because on it's like a jeopardy thing for me because in a, in a in a work environment if you open the cubicle door and the lid's up you can kind of get a glimpse of when you think okay nice fine not a problem but if the lid's down oh well, that's a bit jeopardy, worrying isn't it yeah abs- I don't understand people in general who feel it's acceptable to have a poo at work yeah well, not be be, ready. I mean what if, if you're, you're doing shift work or body well, what if you're eating kiwis what if you're doing shift you're work then your then your then your body stuff. will get used to that and but some people smoke, deliberately so. do that at work I've though because Just it gives them a bit a of time off and yeah. they call it paid poo. Oh. Paid poo. What about another annoying habit? People pee on seats. That's toilet minging. Seats. He's been peeing on seats. Toilet Loads of seats. people do it. Like if you go into like a oh. toilet, there's always like, it not, not the home toilet, but public toilets or work toilets. Especially at everywhere. work toilets and uh, public toilets and even house toilets. Yeah, some people don't flush either. I've noticed that at work. People sometimes they don't flush. They li- Sorry, guys, they leave it there. Presuming it's a guy because the seat's up, but they just leave it there. And I think, well, some what, what was going through I your mind? I have it on good authority, and I must admit, I am not talking about anyone here, but I have it on good authority. 
according to a website that I looked up. Exactly. Now, I do not support any of these comments at all, because as far as I'm concerned, all women are in charge, right? Yeah, and yeah, they yeah, should yeah. be called boss, basically. Yeah. So I'm just making that clear now. Yeah. But according to New York Times Daily News dot com, so uh, it's their fault. I'm I'm blaming them. Most annoying habits of women in the in the bathroom. Number one, they leave a mess on the seat when they hover. So hovering, I presumably, is when you don't want to sit on the seat. I take it you don't mean a full hover, like Why hovercraft. No, like when they full. no when they hover above the toilet seat. <laughs> like a helicopter, <laughs> helicopter yeah, pee. A helicopter <laughs> pee. Yeah. Okay, talking of uh, that kind of thing, annoying thing. Uh, another thing is cooking fish in a microwave. Sorry. That that really. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I was that is a bit that obtuse there, but yeah. <laughs> cooking fish, fish in my microwave? I don't think cooking so. Cooking fish in the work micro- microwave. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, that never goes down well. Yeah. Keeping the window open even when it's freezing. Are we still you? Yeah, we still you. No, this is about real. No, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, really annoying like, thing. I'm, I'm a bit of a, do. I'm a bit of a fresh air fiend. It drives my sister mad. Stealing food from the fridge. Quite yeah. enjoyable though, isn't it? Yeah. I've never Not stolen anyone else's food. Nor have I. What else? What other annoying habits do people have? Well, I I crack my fingers and knuckles, which oh. obviously doesn't bother me, but other doesn't people doesn't bother me at all. You get arthritis. Really, really annoyed. My mum gets I don't, really annoyed when I do it. I don't understand how other people don't do this. How do, do other people's fingers and knuckles not go stiff? Yeah, exactly. So how do no. I, I don't understand why more people don't do that. <laughs> Is that annoying? <laughs> so it you laugh like at an noise. alarmingly loud volume. Oh, oh I don't like I that. Can't. I find that very attention seeking. Yeah. Same goes for um, sneezing as well. People who sneeze mm. really loudly. Yeah. Very over dramatic and mm. attention seeking, I find. Okay, how about one of these? You leave passive aggressive post it notes everywhere. Ooh, a little bit guilty. <laughs> 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 I'm just a little bit guilty. Ooh, oh, me, that reminds you? me. I've got a housemate who hoards all the crockery and cutlery. Right. And we've got all the bowls gone missing. And it's got loads of cutlery in the small plates up there as well there's a pair of scissors gone missing and it just drives you bloody mad so that, I'm thinking of a sketch that could be an idea for a sketch yeah so you, sort of you like know, you're all like army I mean, like we've got commando you're going in ready to get the crockery you know yeah she's sitting on top of them like yeah. you know <laughs> You get to the point where you have to like reuse the same glass like again and again. For yeah, a that's week. really annoying. And ah, next time, it's next locked. time she's, it, she brings them all down, maybe go back up to a room and place them as though they're making their way down to the kitchen <laughs> themselves. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, that's that. and just say, oh, we saw them escaping. Uh, uh-huh. That's yeah. good. No, because I remember one time um, we'd run out of bowls and I really wanted some Viennetta, didn't I? <laughs> oh, so, uh, oh here we go. Is that exactly. here we go. I really wanted Viennetta, Viennetta Vera. No bowls, what do you do? So I knocked on her door and I asked um, if she had any bowls. She said, oh, um, I've, I've, I've got one, I'll bring it down. But I looked through, through a little crack in her door and there were at least two. I just I just thought something, the pe- thing that I find quite annoying is when you're crossing the road with someone and they choose to go the opposite way to you whilst you're in the middle of the road. Oh. I always think, oh. seriously, I feel like just grabbing them by the collar and saying, why do you not wait until you get to the other side? Why have you crossed over me like a bloody cat? Yeah. You've nearly tripped me up. I think that's just brought me on to one of my mo- my most annoying things for me. Because I'm so, obviously, I'm quite tall. I'm six or seven. So when I walk down the road, I walk down at a faster pace than most people. And what I really annoy when people just walk out of shops without looking that you're coming or they step in front just of you. I've had all that bullshit today. I went down Oxford Street before I came here. Oh my God. I fucking moved. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. As well. That's exactly. And I, I, I mean, I've actually said, so "Fuck, get out of the way." He's the type of person who would fall over you, Sarah. Mm. You're quite diddy. Yeah, I don't know. Look out for her. I, I would fall Frankie? over. I, I've, I've, I've almost stepped on dogs before. I must admit, but never, I'd never actually fallen over a person. The thing that I hate, hate the most is when someone comes up to me, and go, "How tall are you?" <laughs> you know, and uh, and then and then they I answer, I guess six or seven. They say, "What's the weather like up there?" <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck off. You know, they think they're being so original when they say that. What's the weather like up there? I think I said yeah, that to you like, the first I, time I met you, Alex. Sorry. You yeah. know, I didn't mind so much. That so was in that context. <laughs> yeah. It was fine. You know, uh, it's when a random person comes yeah. up. Well, they come like, up to me and they go, oh, talking? you're tall. And then people say all good things come in small packages. Yeah. But what they don't notice is that £50 notes are bigger than £5 notes. That's yeah. very true. Well, with me, they That's would say true. things like, oh, you know, That's tall true. man, big feet. <laughs> like, I meant to know what that means. And then they look at your crotch. <laughs> then they look at my crotch. And then, <laughs> then they look at my feet and go, actually, you've got small feet. What's that about? <laughs> um, I mean, it's really like, confusing. And I go, well, it, actually, yes, well, that's the truth of the matter. <laughs> 
really scratch their ass. That's really annoying. Yeah, I was, I was going to mention that as well. I mean, I have, it's not in my Why list here, but when someone's other. walking down the road and oh, they're just readjusting their yeah. clothing, you know, because <laughs> they're kind of giving themselves a wedgie underneath <laughs> there, and they're kind of readjusting the clothing, and you, you, you kind of you, you don't want to look, you know, because you realise be you, you've done it yourself, you know, and no. you don't want to look, but you can't <laughs> help but look at what they're doing. What I don't yeah, understand is when someone blows their nose. And then they open their tissue and look at it. <laughs> what do they expect to see in there? The lost art. A little angel, a little of, snot uh, angel. Yeah, I, I, I expect to see some lost art. <laughs> Henry Moore. Yeah. Or, or maybe, I'm d- it, maybe I reckon. I it's created an ink this. They're, every time they open it, they go, "Ooh, ink blot." Yeah. Uh, I see hate. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in. Reading your snot. Yeah, as no, a, that, as that a gypsy, is awful. Modern that gypsy awful woman. Yeah. You sing loudly at your desk. Well, singing loudly, just out and about. I've seen a lot of people. Just yeah, like people whistling, walking down the road. That's a bit annoying. Mm, whistling can be a bit annoying, especially if it's there's no rhyme. You know, especially it's kind of like random, funeral, random you know. tuneless nonsense. You know, it's, and if I don't it's like the vicar. that. Yeah, if it's at a funeral, I that could be a bit annoying. Um, can we whistle? I can't whistle. Slurping your soup. I like quite like that. Too much. So people are enjoying it. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I I I, I quite like doing it. I think it's mm. quite nice, but I think it must be very annoying if someone's hearing me doing it. Yes. Talking loudly on public transport yeah talking about yeah personal your personal mobile things phone. yeah what do you talking think about, about your contraceptive pill and you know what you're going to yeah, do darling i'm going to be i'm going to be home you know in 10 minutes of, yeah, 10 minutes oh I, no, know, it's I, I think it's good if they're doing something they're talking about something interesting like that yeah. what you can but learn it, something from it well it's something. just it's people natural people history of great britain yeah. Yeah. that's brilliant mm. but if it's not mm. mundanity that's the boring thing it's like mm. yeah no i'm i'm just on the train yeah we know you're on the train yeah i've had a boring day at work i'm a boring fucker and you i just want to tell the whole world can you pick me yeah. up? Can I was, you me up? Can I you was you slightly yeah. guilty of that um, one time because I was going back to Luton to visit family and, and I rung my parents to come pick me up but there was something wrong with the line and I said, hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. And then someone on the um, other side of the carriage then shouted out, yes! <laughs> 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 and I thought, fuck you! <laughs> Well, I think that brings that reminds me of, a, of something when I when I worked in London. I, I I had a I haven't owned a car for about ten years, and I I was getting the bus. I worked in Ilford, and I live in in Walthamstow. And this girl, she literally said one thing. She went something banal like, "I walked down the street," and she went, "Do you know what I mean?" Do you oh, get me? Yeah. Do you get where I'm coming from? Do you <laughs> get what I'm annoying, saying? Yeah. And in the end, I just went, I got you the fucking first time, all right? And it just... It is, it that just, is very annoying. It's it yeah. really annoying. It really grates repeats, on you, doesn't it? It, it yeah. just really grates. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, grating things. I agree things. with that one. The other one is when people go, I was walking down the street, like, and, like, I did this, and... I think like, I'm a I did bit that, and then, that, like, like... You know, when they say, like, at the end of the... Like? Every, everything, that kind of gets... I What do you think, Chris? There's a woman at work. Every time she answers the phone, she's like, you're right. Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? Right, dear, you all right? She worked for the ambulance right? service. Or no, what? she doesn't. But she said it. <laughs> she said it twenty times, and it's, yeah. it's becoming a joke because we're all sitting around, and she's saying it so loudly that after after a while, we're like, "Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right." Yeah, people are doing it. Doing <laughs> yes, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? Get me? Do you get where I'm coming from? Do you get? Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get me? I suppose another one is I don't know how we've we've missed this or maybe we haven't is rude people. I suppose rude our perception people, yeah. of rudeness, you know, yeah. we all have different tolerant levels to yeah, rude tolerance people levels are to annoying. Yeah, it's they really should be annoying. shot when they they're rude be. to you and mean. Mainly terse people. Huh? Terse people that work in shops I thought you said that should terrorist people. No. <laughs> them too. But yeah. Terse people who just give you really short answers and they're supposed to be nice to you because they work in a shop and you think, "All right." You you got your whole, sh- you know, shopping trolley of food and they go out and they go 20 quid mate oh, well, I was expecting a bit of customer service you know. I've just thought something oh go on. I don't know how I've missed this out I'm going to get the sound effects so <laughs> you're trying to get your money out of your purse and they start doing this oh they're tapping on the counter that yeah just sends me loopy have you ever had anyone click at you like a uh, See, I've, I had that in a, in a work environment. I was you're a waiter, were you? No, I was a no. PA. All right. And someone used to get my to get my attention, to get them to come over, they used to do that. Oh, my God. And everyone else would laugh. Like, be really, really annoying. Everyone else was like, don't respond to it. And I'm like, oh, I don't yeah. give it. It's a click. Yeah, yeah, I'm going there. I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. I'm I, I, I am like programmed to do this. I don't mind clicking. I quite like it. I don't like it when random strangers tell me to smile. Because I've got resting oh. bitch face. <laughs> So, <laughs> when someone tells me a very bad complaint, when, when someone oh, tells it. me smile, I'm like, oh. but your face makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> 
for me, I mean, a personal pet hate, and I know you said you're dyslexic, Mary, so it's not your mm. fault. I, I totally mm. understand. But when people. Oh, it's not my fault, Alex. No, it, well, it is actually. Yeah, I think it's, it's your fault. Completely your laziness. fault. It's just laziness. <laughs> it, it's when people spell, sp- spell <laughs> things wrongly. And I, I mean, no, I don't. It drives me it, mad. It drives me annoying. I'm a Nazi. You a grammar Nazi with a resting bitch face. That's that right. Is right. She's it's scary. But I mean, to give you an example, this 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 was on Quora.com, this thing, right? And someone's written it. It's called Anonymous. And he's suggested a load of things. Taking selfies, yeah, one, talking right? while the TV or music system oh, system God, volume is on I, high. I talk a lot right? over TVs at talking over time. TVs or having a conversation, not taking a bath, leaving the dining table while others are still eating. What he's actually written is leaving the dinning table. Hmm. Does that annoy you, Alex? Like, just can you not just use but a spell, spell check, it? Well, who spell your that's how you spell it. That's how you spell it, though, isn't properly. it? Uh, as I always say, you know, if the world gives you melons, you know, eat kiwis. Eat kiwis. <laughs> behind Slurp you. on kiwis. I know a song that will really piss you off. I know a song that will really piss you off. I know a song that will really piss you off, and it goes something like this. If we were to think about some sketches then, obviously that's the main purpose. And Mary, you've already brought up one. Have you got an idea for a sketch, Sarah? So I was thinking maybe of um, people spitting a lot. So you know footballers tend to spit a lot yeah. on the pitch. I was thinking maybe all of them are spitting so much that the pitch then gets flooded. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of the same thing, but a gardener doing it. Like, you know, like they do their, oh, then you, you have to give it a little moisture. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, yeah. doing that, like, and everyone's yeah. like, uh, and "Could you use the watering can?" He's like, "No, right, don't need, need to. to. It's natural, isn't it?" Yeah. yeah. Mm. And yeah, then you can escape by having a wee in the pot as that's well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. You get like the, the the eco the eco gardener who just like spits everywhere. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a I good like one, that. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, good. yeah. Maybe pees everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get me? Do you get where I'm coming from? Do you get Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get me? <laughs> is it annoying if I keep doing this? <coughs> oh, what? Well, yeah. well, I've, I've been doing that through the whole podcast. So <laughs> don't, don't. If I keep... <coughs> I've done that through the whole podcast. The clearing it's not of the throat. <laughs> it is for the editor. Yeah. <laughs> it is for me. Yeah, uh, yeah so, uh, yeah. Right, I think we'll call it a day. Thank you. You've been listening to an original comedy podcast performed by the lobbyists in 2016. Present today were Alex Jones, Mary Quirk, Sarah Polly and Chris Lawrence. Copyright The Lobbyists 2016. All rights reserved.